Hi, Maria here and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would do a review on some of the products that I've recently bought from Makeup Revolution. Just I've been buying a couple things here and there uh, for a couple months and been trying them out and thought I would give you some little mini reviews on some of the products, what worked really well and what I absolutely love and some of the products that are just kind of so-so. Uh, yeah, and so I guess that's it. Um, please feel free to subscribe. Let's just get into the products. So first of all, I thought I would show you the bag. Now I've done the majority of my shopping on the Tam Beauty website. Uh, primarily because I wanted to get some products from iHeart Makeup, uh, which is another kind of a sister company to uh, Makeup Revolution. So um, I ordered offline twice and it comes in a bag like this. It comes straight from the UK. It takes about two weeks to get here, which isn't too bad. Uh, and it's wrapped up in, like all the products are wrapped up in bubble wrap and so far Nothing has come broken or anything like that. So, so far so good. The only complaint that I would have about the company, uh, number one, uh, at one point I ordered the product. It was, uh, it said that it accepted uh, all the products that I had ordered to find out that the one had already gone out of stock. Um, and so they just refunded my, uh, they just refunded it to me and then sent the rest of the products. And I would have preferred them to just hold off until they received that product because uh, it costs $13 in shipping. So uh, from that perspective, I'd rather wait a little longer to get all the products that I had asked for. Uh, as far as my interaction with customer service, they were fine, but that was the, you know, I was a bit disappointed in that. However, uh, they sent me a whole other palette, which I'll show you. I haven't used a whole lot out of it but I'll show you that one as well. Uh, the other thing is, is I ordered when I thought I would be receiving this gift with purchase, uh, and I don't know if I missed some coupon code or some code I was supposed to put in. I didn't see a code, I was looking for a code, and I never received the package with uh, the second order that I got. So a couple little glitches like that that I was a bit disappointed in, however, uh, overall it's been fine and I appreciate how quickly they send the stuff and the condition that it arrives in so that's that and dealing with customer service has been fine so um, let's see where should we start I'll start with uh, there's a few products that I've shown you guys already um, I'll start with this uh, makeup revolution awesome metals foil finish uh, and I bought the rose gold I've talked about it a couple times and I've used it on camera um, it comes with a little dropper of kind of like almost like sugar water. It's stuff that kind of seals the the um, eyeshadow. It comes with a little tray like so that you can mix uh, your medium and your eyeshadow. And it comes with this little eyeshadow and it's in rose gold. Now this has probably been my favorite product uh, because of the pigment. Like it is just absolutely stunning and you can make it as thick as you want or you can shear it out. Um, yeah, and I've, I've talked about this a few times, but it is simply gorgeous on the eyes. So I use that a ton on my eyes. I've used it without the little mixing medium and with the mixing medium and both ways work great. Uh, so I loved this product so much and I paid $3.10 for this. Uh, Canadian, which I thought was fantastic. So I decided to order the black one. So um, it comes in the same sort of kit. And these I just keep in the boxes because it, I just find it's easier to keep everything kind of contained and together. You get the same thing with it and that's the product uh, there. And again, it's got that kind of putty-ish type feel. It's almost a wet feel to it. And that's the shade. And then I'll just swatch that on my hand too. So super opaque. Uh, and this is kind of a steely, like it, it looks more grayish than black, but look at that. And so that's without any of the mixing medium, but it's got a, just a beautiful kind of silver shift in with the black. So I'm excited to try that. That's one product I haven't used yet. Uh, I know how the rose gold performs though, so I'm sure this one will perform similar. This one was more though. This one I, I think was $6. 
Now being we're talking about eyeshadows, I thought I'd show you the next two eyeshadow, or the, the three eyeshadow palettes that I have. Uh, the first one I did a full review on and it's by I Heart Makeup and it's the I Heart Chocolate Palette. Uh, they've got tons of these. I think I'll probably purchase a few more because I just loved this palette. Uh, all their palettes come with an excellent mirror in them and then this little uh, sponge tip applicator thing which I don't use. Um, I thought that this was fantastic. I reviewed it next to the Chocolate Bar palette from Too Faced. I thought it was actually a better palette. Uh, I'll leave the review in the, the description box. I lent it to my sister who absolutely adores the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and she preferred this one too. Uh, for two reasons, like it blends like a dream, the colors are very comparable. The thing that's awesome about this is the burgundy shade is a little bit more burgundy toned, like a little more red uh, rather than brown, so she loved that. And then also uh, this highlighter shade is just a bit uh, lighter, so for fair skin people this palette actually is fantastic. And yeah, the burgundy in this palette is just spectacular. So uh, go check out that whole review if you like, but I love this palette. I've been using it a ton. I just think it's so great. So the next palette that I bought, now again, Makeup Revolution is kind of known for their dupage ability. And honestly, I'm really impressed. So, you know, you could look at it at two ways. You could go, wow, you know, they're totally not very credible. They're basically just ripping off ideas, which in a sense they are. However, uh, they are also providing a service because number one, they're providing quality products at an excellent price uh, for the most part, uh, their quality products. Secondly, um, you know, I guess you could look at it as imitation is the ser sincerest form of flattery. So you could look at it that way too. Um, I'm sure the companies that are being duped don't really think of it that way, however, and I totally get that. But for, you know, high school students or people on a budget, uh, this provides them with an option to have really nice makeup. And so from that perspective, I'm really glad those companies are out there. So anyway, um, this one is called the Iconic 3 Redemption Palette. Um, and this one doesn't have a mirror. It's got the sponge tip applicator. It's the one I used on my eyes today. And honestly, like uh, in blending this out again, they blend fantastic. They blend like a dream. Uh, the colors are pigmented. Um, they go on easy. And to me, when you're looking at a shadow, like a, an eyeshadow palette, what differentiates a good palette from a bad palette is blendability, pigmentation, and then also just, um, you know, that little bit of pizzazz that you get in some of the shimmer shadows. So for this one, the standout shadow for me is this one here. And it's just, it's, it's this color on my lid. And it's just, it's totally pigmented and you get that kind of wet look, nice bam shimmery color. Uh, sometimes when you use shimmer shades, they just look dull and you have to resort to using a Fix Plus or something like that to just get a little bit more wow out of it. This one I don't have to use Fix Plus on. So things like that differentiate palettes or, or you know, make them stand out for me. So for, for these ones, like both these palettes, to me, their drugstore price, this cost me $6.10 uh, from the TAM Beauty website. I think it's $14.99 at London Drugs. Uh, but nevertheless, fantastic um, quality. Uh, and yeah, this is the look that I got. Mm -hmm. Turns out good. Now, this one is duping the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. And so there's different videos you can look on on different websites. I'm not gonna you know, go through the swatching. I don't have the Naked 3, so I'm, I can't compare it for you. But uh, they're pretty, pretty much dupes for one another. Like they really do pretty good. This one uh, from the videos that I've watched isn't quite as pigmented, uh, but it's still really pigmented. Now going back to what makes a palette stand out. I've said this before, I want a palette 
that um, if it's a drugstore palette, I don't want to go, oh, it's really good for the drugstore. I want to be able to say, this is a really good palette. So for me, New York Professional, it was a good palette and it was good for the drugstore. So it would be the top of the line drugstore one. To me, these are just plain good. High end or regular, they're good, sh they're good shadows. They're good uh, eyeshadow palettes. This one especially gets me excited because it uh, you know, has so many cool colors in it. This one is kind of, you know, I, the reason why I didn't buy the Urban Decay version uh, was because it's, I think, close to 70 bucks in Canada. And to me, you're going to get kind of similar looks no matter what you do, because they're all the rose gold shades. So the fact that I could get um, a drugstore priced product that would give me that rose gold feel, because I like doing that kind of thing once in a while. I was really excited about this. Um, so yeah. Uh, for me, these these are comparable to any of my Sephora palettes. So yeah, really good prices. Yay! So the other palette that I got from uh, Makeup Revolution is this palette called Fast Love. Woo! So that's the box. I haven't used it much because I'm I, like I've just basically swatched it. Uh, I used a couple of the blue shades a little bit. This is the palette. Again, it comes with a sponge tip and this this mirror. This one has two smaller sponge tips. I hate the sponge tips. Uh, these colors are really nice as well, but they don't really speak to me a whole lot, and I haven't used this one, so I can't honestly tell you uh, what what it's like. If I start using it, I'll do a look with it or something like that, but uh, so far haven't used this one. But I got it for free uh, because they didn't send me the palette that I had wanted, so that's kind of a, a fun bonus. <laughs> Okay, next I thought I'd talk about these eye, these lip liners that I got. Now, I just basically got them. Uh, this is what they look like because uh, I just wanted to see what the lip liners are like. The only one that I've used is this one because these two scare me. So when I got them, here I'll just, uh, whoa, I'll swatch. They're really pigmented and I loved this purple color because uh, I use a lot of purple because it, it uh, kind of shows more pink on me. Uh, I thought that would be good as a lip liner. It's actually an eyeliner. Uh, this one is the the pink. Nice swatches, Maria. Oh, this one's called Bold Pink. Uh, the um, the lavender one is called Hypocrisy, uh, and then this one is called Cherry Red. So I was super excited to get that to find out that um, it's more of just a bright pink. Uh, like a hot pink. It's definitely not red in the slightest. It's totally hot pink. So those are those. Um, they seem good. I haven't tried them like to fully line my lip because like I said, scared of these. <laughs> Used this one um, just as an in, like kind of in the middle part of my lip. Works really good. Uh, creamy, pigmented, awesome from that perspective. So the interesting thing about these is that they have a little sharpener in the cap, which is kind of funky, but kind of bizarre at the same time. I, I don't really care about it, but yeah. So overall, um, yeah, I don't have much of a review of these. These were $1.79 on the website, so I just thought ah, it was worth giving them a try. Uh, the reason why I'm scared of these two, besides the shades being so neon-y bright, is that, um, you know, I went to wipe them off and, um, or I let them kind of set. I'm not letting them set this time. Even, th even though I just wiped it off, there's kind of a little line here. They really stain bad. So, uh, yeah, they, they kind of scare me because they've got so much dye and they stain really easy. So I'm not sure how much I'll use these, but I'll definitely be using this one as kind of like a filler for my lips. So yeah, that's that. So the next thing that I thought I would show you is this blush palette. Again, huge mirror. Um, this one's called All About Pink, and I actually regret buying this. So I really love uh, these highlighter shades. I think they're really beautiful. Um, like they're pigmented. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see, especially the pinky type one. This one, this one's kind of dull, but this one is a really pretty icy pink. So for me on my fair skin, it works really good. 
Uh, these pink blushes though, first of all, there's not a, enough of a differentiation in color. There are other palettes that they have that I wish that I would have tried instead. Um, but these, like there's a couple kind of corally shades, but these two are so bright and I used it today showing you kind of how they apply. They're so pigmented, but they're almost too bright for me because I'm so fair. So this might work fantastic on someone with deeper skin tone, uh, especially like these kind of brighter shades. Uh, might work fantastic for me being so fair. They're just a little too overpowering. So I tend to not gravitate towards this palette at all. Uh, and we'll probably at some point give it away. I do, however, want to try some of their other blushes because I hear that they're fantastic. And the nice thing about them is for the most part, the blushes are matte, which I actually prefer. So that's that. Uh, next product that I bought in store. So I bought this at London Drugs. And I've mentioned it before, it's the Vivid Baked Highlighter and it's in the color Golden Lights. Now this, um, the texture is fairly smooth. It's very pigmented uh, and like as you can see there, it's this yellow one there. You get lots of pigment to it. It's just kind of a weird color. So it has almost, it feels almost like it has a green shift and it's a, just a tad too dark for my skin tone. So it's fine on my, my hand is a bit more tanned, but my face is a lot fairer. So I just find this a little bit dark and it's pretty metallic. Uh, so like you can see it there. So depending on your skin tone, this isn't a bad one. I'm just trying to flex it so you get a little bit of that glow, but it's not my favorite product. Uh, and it was expensive. This one was, uh, 10 bucks at London Drugs. And this next product that I'll show you, this one was 16, I think 16.90 on the website. So one highlighter for 10 or this one for 16.90. And this one is fantastic. I love this palette, love it. So um, I was debating on whether I should get this. This is called the Ultra Glow Pro Palette. No, Ultra Pro Glow Palette. Uh, that's what it looks like. The reason why I oftentimes will shy away from um, the uh, illuminating palettes, highlighter palettes, is because I'm so fair that usually I can only use one or two of the shades. So in the Anastasia Glow Kit, I have the Gleam one and I really love it. I think it's beautiful. Uh, but I find that I can only use two shades as highlighters. Uh, the other one I could use as a blush topper and then the gold one just looks really dull somehow on my skin. So it doesn't work. So what I was looking for, and I guess the other thing is, is I'm wanting the ultimate glow. I want the ultimate glow, but I want it to be, uh, I want it to look dewy. And um, I know one girl uses the term glossy. So I want it to look kind of more sheer and just, uh, like glow from within, not metallic highlighter. And so this one gives me that metallic highlighter look. Uh, and it, you know, same thing with Mary Luminizer. I like Mary Luminizer, uh, but it gives me a little bit more of that metallic-y type highlight. Uh, it's a little too dark for me, that's why. And same thing with this one. It's beautiful, like it's quite nice, uh, but it's more somehow metallic-y looking on me. So I wanted, I, like, I've been kind of just like on a quest to find highlighters that work for me. And this palette totally does. So there are three shades, well, no, there's probably, there's a few shades that don't work on my skin tone. So this one's a little too dark, this pinky color, this one, and this one. So those don't, but most of these, like this one, this one, this one, and this one, those, those, these four especially work, but this one also works. I need to zoom you in really quick so I can show you these highlights. I'm gonna start with these two right here. Hopefully you can kind of see them there. So these would work really good for deeper skin tones. Uh, I just think they're just gorgeous. Uh, and for me, I can use them for eyeshadows and stuff like that. So the next two are these two, and these are similar in tone just slightly different. So this one, let's see, this top one is just a little bit lighter and that's this one here. 
So this one's a bit too dark for me, like I can get away with it, but this one's perfect for me. Uh, and they show up right there. So they just, you know, the, this one's starting to look kind of like that wet look, but not so much color, and that's what I kind of like. So those are those two. I'll do. So these two, I'll just hold my hand up here so you can see them. Now that pink one, again, nice blush topper, but this, like, I think that's gorgeous. Like, look at that. Look at it. Like, fantastic. I just, I just think it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Like, I love this palette. I'm going to put it on for you, too, because I'm absolutely in love with it. So these last two colors, this, this color is kind of a, a pastel-y gold, so it's a little bit different. But, like, look at that. Oh, and then, like, if you sheer it out, like, they're just stunning. And just, yeah, they just look glowy and dewy and amazing on the skin. So I am going to show you right now just how glowy and dewy they actually are. Got product. So look at that. Can you see it? Can you see the glow? Can you see the glow, people? People. Look at that. And it doesn't look, it doesn't look, um, yeah, it just looks like a glow. It looks like I'm healthy. It looks like I'm healthy even though I'm not really. <laughs> I just love it. Whoops, wrong color. Whoa. Okay, look at that. Mm -hmm. Brush here. And I'm going to go into uh, just that same color. I'm going to do it on the tip of my nose and just bring it up a little bit. Onto the high points. And then I'm going to go into more this white shade on my forehead. <laughs> I'm going to look like a greasy mess by the time I'm done, but I just love this. And then let's go for this rose gold color on my cupid's bow, even though that's dangerous because I've got lipstick on right now. Do you see that glow? Do you? Do you see it? Okay, and then we'll go with the icy color on my chin. Like, isn't that amazing? I can't help it, I absolutely love it. And I'm going to just add a little bit of this uh, peachy shade, the same color I, I used on my cheeks, just in my inner corner to give myself even more of a bam. Yes! What do you think, people? So this, to me, was the best 16 bucks I've ever spent. Like, I love this palette. And they stay on pretty good. Like highlighters to me start to fade at about five hours kind of thing. But I looked uh, yesterday, I wore it. And by the end of the day, I could still see highlight. It wasn't like bam like this, but it was pretty good. So love this kit. I'm so glad I got this. This was well worth the money. So that's my overall, like that's my main haul. That's my overall haul. Um, my, the standout products are definitely for me, uh, this is number one. I love this thing. Like, I love it. I, I, I love it. And they're buttery and they're smooth and they're fantastic and they're perfect for my white, lily white skin. Yes, indeed. They're great for fair skin. Um, better for fair skin definitely than deeper skin tones for sure. Uh, so love that. I love my iHeart Makeup Chocolate Bar Palette or iHeart Chocolate Palette. So good. Like so, so good. Just can't even believe how good this one is. Yikes as I wreck the whole thing. Uh, so love this one. Um, I, for the most part, like the eyeshadows overall. Um, I love these awesome metal shadows. They're kind of dupes for the Stila. Um, the Stila shadows and I like for sparkle for just adding a bit of sparky je ne sais quoi on your eyes. These are amazing. The other products are okay. I, I don't love them. I don't hate them. Uh, I think my least favorite would be the blush palette just because the shades are not so great. Uh, second least favorite would be the lip liners just because these colors weren't what they said they would be. Uh, they're okay though. Like they're not amazing. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy them though. I guess that's the thing. Uh, the rest of the products pretty good. So, um, you know, I encourage you to check out the brand. If you don't want to order something online because you don't know what you're getting, 
Uh, then go into London Drugs here in Canada. Alta has it in the States. I just think it's a fantastic line overall and it has so many products that make, um, that are affordable, that, that are, are great uh, options that kind of dupe higher end products. So um, I just think they're awesome. And again, um, I wouldn't look at, uh, you know, the, the, the products that I absolutely love, I don't look at them and think, wow, those are amazing for a drugstore product. I look at them and go, wow, this is amazing. This is just an amazing kit. This, I like better than the Anastasia Beverly Hill Glow Kits. Like, I like it way better. Um, I've got a Becca highlighter that I like better, or like, I like it equally to this. So um, you don't have to spend oodles of cash to get an amazing product. This is all, this is amazing. Like I, I like I, I, I basically want to rub myself. <laughs> Maybe not that far, but <laughs> kinda, I kinda want to do that. Anyway, um, that's it. That's all I have for you today. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. If you've had a different experience and you want to share it, please feel free to put it in the comments. Tell me what you've tried, tell me what you like, and I guess that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and we will talk to you soon. Have an amazing week.